I started this challenge back whenever I was a young kid. Um, you know, dreams about becoming someone big. You know, I was smelling the dirt. I was touching the grass. I could see my future, what I wanted to be, you know? Sometimes I thought about becoming a track artist, you know, being a rapper. And sometimes I wanted to become a, an instrumental vocalist somewhere around them at an anime convention or something. But as I've seen and seen the chickens, I've seen the dirt, I, I, I Oh, that's the pride I needed right there. That's the pride I needed. As I figured out what I wanted, I did what I had to do. I did what I had to do. I became a YouTuber. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. I mean, I work my full-time job and do this, but pridefully, I, I know I could do it. You know, it's resilience. It's resilience. At the end of the day, all I think about is streaking the modelo. Mm. Anybody could do it. Just just put your mind to it. Just put your mind to it. Thank you. You have a great day. Hi guys. Welcome to the Tap House. Tap House. Hi guys, welcome back to Tap House. I'm your host E, and today we're speaking about Modelo Especial. It's a beer that brings pride to all of us and everybody around us. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started on the Modelo Inside. One thing about the Modelo, guys, that um, that I want to say is that if you drink a Modelo, not only does it make you prideful, but also it makes you not vulnerable to mother's chanclas. See? Didn't phase me what, <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into when the Modelo was made. Modelo was made in 1925 by Grupo Modelo, obviously the people, the brewers who made Corona. Um, out of all of them, also Modelo has a clear bottle, which again, is not the best for, for having the, you know, the best flavors, but it does give, does give it that royal look, obviously because of the aluminum foil and the gold foil on the Modelo. Now, you're wondering, give me one second, let me get a drink out of this. Well, let me tell you that. Let me tell you why they have that. First of all, it looks elegant, obviously, right? I mean, why, why wouldn't you have aluminum foil? Second, it knows, you know for a fact nobody has opened this beer. This is like one of those, uh, how bottles of wine, those corks, and they put like, uh, they put some type of candle on top of it on some of the beers too as well. It just signifies that um, it hasn't been opened. But that's just not one part of it too as well. Also, another reason why it has an aluminum foil is because the bottom must be held at the foil during an opening to avoid the content being driven out by carbon dioxide gassing out of the liquid developing high pressures when warmed up. Uh, it's a lot of science that goes into it. It's just not stupid. It's just not because it looks fancy, but it, there's a reason why it has that. And that's kind of the basics as well. Not a lot of beers contain this. Um, there's only a few out there. So the aluminum foil is also called alu capsule. It's basically like what I said earlier, it's for it not to be opened. And so you can know you know who opened it right now as you can tell nobody opened this beer it came out of the fridge i've never had a little negro so i'm very excited to try this one out it's not a beer review but it's just for me to give the context out but as you can tell on the label right here on the modelo cerveza it does have two lines and it signifies pride uh, this beer for some reason it just says pride everywhere you know and um i'm prideful for where i came from you know what i'm saying you know i'm prideful i came from texas i just kidding my parents came from mexico but that's where my pride comes from. Uh, the, the two lines signify pride because it's basically a mini empire in Mexico, this brewery. Um, and you know what? There's, there's something that I found out about this beer recently that I think I looked up on, on, the, on the internet is that this was basically inspired from an Austrian German type of beer. Um, back then in the 1800s, I would say around 1864 to 1867, there was a Mexican emperor Austrian emperor that, that ruled between that era. There was this Mexican emperor called Maximilian. He did bring with him a pronounced taste of German and Austrian style beers, which then kind of influenced the Mexican beer here. But for him, he was more of a dark type beer style, so he, they would have said that he would have enjoyed Modelo Negro. What, what, what surprised me is that there was an actually Mexican emperor 
you know, during that time. That was kind of crazy. Also, during the Prohibition, Modelo and Corona peaked on whenever they were uh, making their brewers and their beers because, I mean, obviously the United States, you know, they weren't doing nothing. They were just bootlegging beers. But this is one of the most safest beers that they made back then. Quick second, I'm going to open this beer real quick. I hope that my information is coming out right. So this is the first time I tried Modelo Negro. The history about this, my dad drank all the Mexicans' beers, but his favorite one is Victoria. That one's gonna be the next one that I'm gonna review, well not review, that I'm gonna have a beer insight. But for me, for some reason, Modelo, whenever I went to parties, nobody really had them. They were, they were more for the aristocrat people, the more people who enjoyed talking deep conversations about the Mexican life, about, about conspiracies, about, you know, just intellectual conversations about making money. You know, it was the high class beer for, for, for the parties that I had back then. It was like one above Corona, I would say. I think it's above all of them, I think. I think, yeah, this, I, I would say this one is above all the Mexican beers when it comes to prestigeness. Mm. If, 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 you, if I'm wrong, put, the, put it down in the comments below because I believe this one, all, out of all of them is probably the most prestige that or Dos Equis I would say between those two I still have to talk that's another one I have to review or go up, have a beer inside is Dos Equis because that beer is my favorite one out of all the Mexican beers unless this one right here is actually good so let's give this one a try okay that's very surprising the regular Modelo the clear one the clear bottle right here has a more uh, piss taste, um, but this one over here actually has some type of textures inside, a little bit of more hoppiness to it, uh, obviously because I'm more into dark beers, but I think I also know why, it's because the the, the cover, the, co the coated bottle of Modelo keeps it from having a good flavor, so it doesn't deteriorate the yeast inside of it, so that gives it a big plus on my side. Let me see what else, let me give another sip. Mm. By the way, they always mention it to, to like make sure you peel off all the foil on top of it and not to swallow it. My lips are getting like scratched by it, so let me just go ahead and peel it back down. But I, I you know what? I'll say the black one's better than, than the clear one. That's my opinion. Uh, let me know yours on the comments down below. Other than that, man, I feel like I'm dragging this shit crazy, dragging it pretty on. Uh, beer inside sucked ass this time. <laughs> Even more than I thought. It just fucking. It blew off my mind. Sorry, mom. Uh, it just blew. It just, it just, it just, it just blew off. It just really, uh, whatever. Give me a beer. I want to wish y'all a Merry Christmas. Um, my mom did this beautiful tree. Don't hate on it. I'll, I'll kick your asses. Also, um, if you have, if you're a big Modelo fan, um, let me know why. Uh, I can see why, but I feel like it's just more of because. Modelo seems like the the type of beers that if you want us to look sound cool, they will ask you to drink a Modelo or something like that. I don't know, man. It's been a very hectic week. I've been making a couple of videos, so I hope this beer inside it gives a little bit of light to the Modelo world. Uh, I, I I wasn't very intellectual about this conversation, I would say, but there are some websites here that I think I should go ahead and and, um, and check it out, especially for the Modelo stuff. I don't want to read all through it. But there's a whole bunch of other stuff here as well. Um, it is 95 years young. October 20, uh, this year, actually, it turned 95 years. Uh, Modelo Negro. Or actually, Modelo Especial, the whole thing. 25 years. It's pretty crazy, right? Sorry, 95 years. I already just said it. Um, uh, but basically, this beer has German and Austrian roots. Uh, I'm just excited to start more beers and the uh, Mexican side and have more beer inside. I feel like this one was a little bit more... I would say just uh, chillax kind of way. No, you know what? I'm just going to relax now. I'm just going to relax and talk to you guys uh, because I feel more more chill now. Uh, the Modelo, out of all of them, I rate it. I would say from the Mexican beers that I drank so far, the black one right here, Negro, Modelo Negro, I would rate this one probably a 6 out of 10 out of all the Mexican beers. Hmm. One day, one day, I'll be more insightful when it comes to the beers. But let me know if uh, which Mexican beers y'all want me to try next. Um, I feel like I tried them all, but 
Maybe there's ones that I missed. Obviously, the Victoria. Victoria, I have never drank before. So I'm curious to see what that one tastes like. Tecate, love them. Corona, eh. Uh, those techies, it's like tier, top tier for me. If I had to say the ones I drank so far, top tier is Corona. Sorry, those Equis, Tecate, and Modelo Negro. That's on my top three. Unless Victoria tastes better, but we'll find out. Anyways, guys, I apologize for this mess, uh, for the cuts. I'm trying things differently, and uh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying myself now more than ever when it comes to the beer stuff. Mm. Anyways, this one's a mess, and... Uh, I, Baco, come here. Come here, say hi. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Come here. You wanna you wanna see a predator dog? Okay, head to back. Never mind. I'm all taking them. Anyways, you have a good, a beautiful uh, Christmas. I I feel like I'm making no sense here. So I'm gonna cut this shit off now. Um anyways, you have a good night. Wear your mask. I love y'all. Good night. Mother's chancla. Fiona. Me cara, me cara. Ay, la voz.